Welcome back to 10 Slide Info. The Suhoi Su-30 MKI fighters, which are considered as the backbone of the Indian Air Force, uses K36DM00 ejection seats, which are manufactured by NPP Zvezda of Russia, and these seats are one of the most advanced ejection seats in the world. The Tejas Mark 1A fighters, which are manufactured by HAL of India, uses 16LG00 ejection seats, which are manufactured by Martin Baker of the United Kingdom. One of the main reasons behind India, not being able to sell the Tejas fighters to the Argentine Air Force, is due to the presence of the British components in it. One of the British components, which has become a constraint for this export, is the Martin Baker ejection seat. Seeing the reliability and efficiency of the K36DM00 ejection seats, manufactured by Russia, HAL is planning to replace the existing Martin Baker ejection seats, with these Russian ones, so that they would be able to sell the fighters to Argentina. The K36 German Marks ejection seats, have been used successfully to eject pilots, from a number of accidents. In one incident, a K36DM seat was used to eject a pilot, from a Su-27 fighter jet that was on fire. The pilot was able to eject safely and suffered no injuries, which proves the quality of these Russian ejection seats. Apart from the Martin Baker ejection seat, the other British components of the Tejas Mark 1A that could prevent its sale to Argentina are the Cobham Aerial Refueling Probe and the Cobham Quartz Radome. Even if HAL replaces the ejection seat of Tejas Mark 1A, with the one used on the Su-30 MKI fighters. Not sure which brand's equivalent components would replace the UK-manufactured aerial refueling probe and the quartz radome. The Argentine-bound Tejas fighter is still in the early stages of development, and it is not clear when the aircraft will be ready for production. The modifications which are required to replace the British components are very challenging, and HAL has to think if this much effort is required just for selling their Tejas fighters to the Argentine Air Force. HAL team's commitment to self-reliance is something appreciable but at the same time, sticking to certain vital components, like the ones which are manufactured by UK companies are a good decision. According to 10 Slide Info team, HAL don't have to put so much effort in modifying the Tejas fighters to fit in alternate ejection seats aerial refueling probe and the quartz radome just for selling these fighters to Argentine Air Force. They already have enough tasks and deals on their plate, so it would be better if HAL concentrates on closing those tasks and timely closure of deliveries of pending deals, instead of wasting time on these Argentina-related modifications. These are our personal comments and feedback, so it might differ from what others think and what opinions others have in their mind. Please share your thoughts and comments in the relevant section of this video. 10 Slide Info will keep tracking on the progress done by HAL team in pushing these Tejas fighters export to Argentine Air Force and will upload more videos to keep everyone updated. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to 10 Slide Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.